Hey guys, it's RJ with Variant. I don't know what Charlie Rocket was just doing just down there, but shrugs. Um, it's uh, what is this? Action Figure Fridays. We are finishing uh, our Deadpool figures from last week. We we're gonna build uh, Sauron, who is a classic, <laughs> classic X Men and Kazar. Is it Kazar or Kazar? Kazar. Kazar. I don't know. I, Is it Kazar? It can never be Kazar? too sure. Kazar villain? Savage Land villain, Sauron. Yeah. So, Charlie Rocket, Woo. what you got? What you I got, got for us? Lady Deadpool. Lady Deadpool, because she loves she's the ladies. And she's also a lady. Yeah. She also, yeah, loves the ladies. Um, Barry White. I love Lady Deadpool. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's a <laughs> Apparently can't get that low. Oh uh, <laughs> we're like struggling. <laughs> Ugh. Alright, Lady Deadpool. Everything is oh, they put her hair. Her hair is through this thing, so you gotta weave it on through. Come on, half her. Uh, Don't wanna pop her head off, so we'll pop her hair off, like if that shit breaks. Right, it looks like that's a lot of damn such hair. A, such a tiny. <laughs> yeah, it felt. It felt like it could so, have popped off, but it didn't. Lady Deadpool. If you guys don't know, is Wanda Wilson. Wanda. She's from an alternate universe where Daredevil, uh, is or not Daredevil. Deadpool. Like what? <laughs> where Deadpool. Is a female. Is a lady. And at some point they teamed up. And at some point they hooked up, which is really, really offensively gross. And it gives really, new meaning. Really Deadpool. New meaning to the words go F yourself. <laughs> well, I love her. A lot of her um joints seem to be pretty hard to move, like her legs. But it can work. She's got like some little harness guys on her legs, but they can slide down and then fall all the way to her ankle like this one. So it's like floppy sock, but for like <laughs> ankle bracelets or something. For for your thigh. Boop. There. Okay. I think it's good now. Her legs are really difficult to move. And she's got this cool belt. That one's not coming off though. That's pretty good. Bam. She's got oh, rock out action. I mean, because it's Deadpool. And pretty fair. Gosh, all of her little joints are really hard to move. I can hardly move her arm. Okay, whatever. Well, she's got also this harness thing around her arms. Bam. It doesn't look like Which she's got. It doesn't hold anything. Does she have ball socket arms? Or are they just. Like, do they go in and out or just up and down? Uh, nope, they're supposed to go in and out. You just can't do it. They're just, they're just tight. Like, I see it. It's just super tight. She's like, super tight. Same thing right here. Gosh, RJ, inappropriate. What? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and her hair is super long and flexible. Yay! Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to get her out of that packaging. Woo! And I think it looks really pretty. But a whole lot. It's only attaches to a very small part. It seems like it's going to break off. But it hasn't yet, so can't hold it against her. She has nothing to hold these swords in, but she has two swords that so she, she can come hold. With... Her harness doesn't have what? anywhere for the swords to go. And she doesn't have any guns? No guns either. Weird. Bam. I guess they were like... Force. Wakanda forever. Wakanda. Wakanda forever. Yes, Wanda. Wanda does not sound like a scary name. Wanda at all. from Wakanda. She also comes with this little dead. You know head. Elf on the Shelf. Now see Wanda from Wakanda. Oh! <laughs> Comes with this gross, nasty Deadpool. Oh, that's Headpool. Headpool is you know the what? zombie. It's 
It's disgusting. Does it spin? That's what it, is. it does. Yes. All right, so Headpool is the zombie head of Deadpool from the Marvel Zombies universe. Disgusting. That's I awesome. hate zombies. What? Yeah, they're, they're my least awful. favorite thing. Really? Yeah. No. They're the worst thing for me. Zombies are fun. The worst. Look, her little thigh thing's already felt her Floppy ankle. sock. And you can probably slip them right over her feet. And just take them off. And then the dog chokes and on them. And then, yeah, your dog, your baby, everyone chokes. And it's horrible. Anywho, she comes with a big old foot. Big old foot. Big old leg. Big old foot. It's a song. Ah! Leg. Perfect. Okay. I am going to do Marvels as if somebody else had yeah. this but it says marvel's omega red Ooh. because you didn't want to get that confused with dc's omega red or yeah. images omega red or all the other omega all reds those other there. omega reds out there exactly all yeah. right so um if i remember correctly the omega red figure that came out before came out the same time the bishop figure came out so i guess they're just redoing stuff that's cool. Yeah. Right. This one uh, seems a little bit more accurate. Maybe not as uh, bulky as the other one. But we shall see. Let's see what we got. All right. So we've got a Mega Red. He's got a sinister looking smile on his face with his yellow teeth because he doesn't brush in Russia. Mm. It's Russia. No Brussia, Russia, Russia. Um, this one, his nose has like some yellow dots on it. I think maybe he just got scraped up in the packaging a little bit, but I don't know. Um, let's see. He's got some little canisters on his shoulder harnesses. Um, he does, he barely has some rock out action. Um, and then he's got these little baby tentacles that come out of his arms but what i'm thinking is we can swap those baby tentacles for these great big tentacles they also come in the package and we can so he can grab you from across the room and you didn't, didn't even know he could because you were like yo he's just got baby tentacles. little baby tentacles and he's the octopus of the marvel Surprise. universe He's a grower and not a shower. Wow, Charlie Rocket went there. So he's going to grab, ah! grab her by the head and choke her out. Um, but, uh, I mean, it's a pretty good figure. I mean, he's like, uh, he's pretty decent. Um, everything looks pretty much Omega Reddish. He's got some cool ponytail hair. It doesn't spin, doesn't move. Um his tentacles are better than um, Reed Richards who just had those big floppy arms Ooh, these are just big floppy tentacles that was amazing yeah I like them and uh, it's a pretty cool figure like there's not there's not a lot of detail but he's a very minimalist uh, person he comes from the Soviet Union yeah so he's got uh, his little Omega red stamps on his hands and uh, let's see Let's see what else we can see. On his forehead, he's got his little headband. And, uh, I don't know. All in all, a pretty cool figure. Um, I mean, it'll fill out your X-Men rogues gallery, I guess. Yeah. And uh, he could choke out Rogue. Yeah. Yeah. But. He's on new Miss Marvel, too. Oh, uh, what, what Miss Marvel? Kamala Khan. Oh, he's in that, he's in that book now? Yeah. Oh, okay, I didn't know that very briefly but okay. he is there very cool um oh okay so like his shoulder pads you can't see it really but well maybe you can now but he's got like a little peg and he's got holes in his shoulders for those to go in um didn't think they were really falling off in the first place but now that they're pegged into his shoulders they're definitely not going anywhere um he doesn't come with any accessories doesn't come with extra heads or hands um, but little tiny baby tentacles and Omega Red. And he also comes with the other leg of Sauron. So we're getting there, guys. We're almost, we're almost at the end of building Sauron. 
So uh, here, since we restarted from the beginning, you can open. Do you have another? You don't have another one. Cool. No, so I you don't. Can open this one. Yay! It's Deadpool. It's Deadpool. See, we're not doing two Deadpools in one sitting this time. Ooh. Are we? Did we do Deadpool? No, no that was last week. Yeah. Maybe. We don't yeah. know what week we're on. Last well, week. I guess it was Lady Deadpool. Oh, uh, yeah, that's technically not the same. Whew. But technically it is. Oh, man, they were in this day. Why? Because they don't want you to take him. You might love him too much. Whew. Yeah, I don't know why. Is he that special? Yeah! Shot that hat. Let's see here. Does it fit on his head? No. I think it's for the other head. Cause see this one. <laughs> all right. So this is Deadpool. Deadpool's head. But he's in the X Men uniform. Okay. Yes. But he also comes with the head of Madcap. Madcap, if you don't know, if you read Deadpool all throughout the late there '90s to the early 2000s. Whenever Deadpool talked, he would also hey talk guys. to himself. And when he talked to himself, it was in yellow letters. And when he talked, and when he talked, it was in black and white letters. Standard kind of thing. But what you didn't know was that later on down the road, they were like, "Oh, this whole time the yellow letters have been Madcap," and Madcap was embedded in Deadpool's brain for years, and that's why he was like insane and then they found out all this and he got madcap removed from his head and blah 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 but then they brought madcap back as a whatever and uh and now he's a deadpool villain and i think his name is madcap i'm pretty sure Boo. i think so anyway he absorbed this guy named madcap who was like a, a shapeshifter or something weird but uh or something weird i don't know something Huh. All right. It's one Deadpool's of those. Deadpool's got on his uh, his X Men uniform. He's got a gun. Uh, uh, uh. I think the big part goes in his hand. Yeah, the big part goes in his hand. Yes. Oh, duh. <laughs> well, I can't fit anything in his hand. Yeah. That's the problem. <laughs> well, whatever. This goes in his hand somehow. It's a giant gun. A giant gun. Here he is. Bam. He's got like a belt like all the Deadpools have. He's got these things that fell to his ankles. Floppy sock. Yep. I hate that they're making yeah, they're... all the X-Men figures now come with those instead of just making them part of the boots. Yeah, what? Like now they all have flop. Like you're going to have a this whole team of supposed to be at the top floppy sock X-Men figures. But like, goodness gracious. Anywho, he's got these swords and the holsters. Whew, they come out. Yay. Yay! They go back in. Magic! The gun, on the other hand, is difficult. Because he's got little hands. Well, whatever. It's supposed to go in there. And he's like, what? He's got like angry, confused face. You Surprise! Know, I'm kind of like, hmm, because they could have just made a Madcap figure instead of just giving us Madcap's head on a Deadpool X-Men figure, which makes no sense whatsoever. Right. Like, why would Madcap ever wear an X-Men costume? I mean, maybe that happened in a comic? I don't know. Yeah. Your standard comic people might know that. Chances are they won't. But... It's cool, I guess we kind of got half a madcap. Maybe they'll make a body at some point with a Deadpool head, and then we can just switch them. <laughs> this will never work. Good day! I said good day. I said good day. Madcap does look quite mad. Quite a crazy person. I would say person. madcap is the mask. Of, hey. Do you remember the mask? Yes, I do. Jim Carrey movie? He's the mask of the Marvel Universe. He can yep. like, do all kinds of craziness and whatever. And who knows? And he comes with a tail. A tail. This 
tail looks dangerous. Right. All right. That's everybody. So, this whole last four weeks, I've been trying to remember the name of Sauron. His name is Carl Lycos. Carl? It took me four whole weeks to remember that. Carl. Carl. So, yes, we're going to build Carl. Carl. Build a Carl. Build a build Carl. Build a Carl. Get his leg on. Lay on there. Is this light going on? I don't know. All right, that went on. All right, we got a leg. Do we have the other leg? Here, you got it. Bow, 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 bow. Carl. Carl, what you doing? I always liked Sauron. I thought he was kind of a cool idea. He lives in the Savage Land. He's a mutant. That uh, he's like an energy vampire, but he's also a pterodactyl. So let's jam this tail on his butt. Such a cool tail. The tail doesn't want to go on there. I'd be really upset if I was a mutant and looked like this. <laughs> yeah, he kind of got the short end of the stick, I yeah. guess. Like, even if I was Mystique, I'd be cool. But like... <laughs> Really. Like Nightcrawler. Cool, yeah. But a full pterodactyl. I mean, it's pretty cool, though. Like, I mean, look at these wings. They're just like... Yes! He does look really cool. I mean, he's a cool figure. I'm not... And but his he... head fell off. <laughs> Immediately. Um, I mean, how can you go wrong with dinosaurs, yeah! kids? Like, a dinosaur man. Johnny, what do you make of this? It's a pterodactyl. <laughs> um, his waist is super floppy from yeah. holding them wings up. Because these aren't like, these are plastic wings. These are like... Like hard plastic. Yeah, they're not just like some rubber junk wings. They're legit. Um, they are legit. Uh, he's got all kinds of scales all over him. Um... He's got his little loincloth here, which is hiding his pterodactyl junk. Um, he's got his satchels of magic powder, or whatever pterodactyls carry, I don't know. That's what I would assume. I mean, maybe. But again, so look, the waist is super wobbly. He's just, he's just top heavy. Um, I feel like he will, at some point, fall apart. But, not today. Satan. <laughs> um, that head is really cool. Again, the mouth opens. He's got a big row of teeth. And they're all super detailed. Um, his tail is got a little stabby thing on the end. Um, his loincloth keeps popping off, though. Maybe he just wants to go commando. Right. Commando Surprise! sword. Surprise! So, like... Surprise! <laughs> <laughs> it's nudity. Uh, action figure for Pterodactyl nudity. So, um, uh, his feet are pretty lizard like, reptilian, rep, rep, pterodactyl ish. I don't know. I'm not sure of the word. Lid. But you know what, man? This is a really cool figure. I dig it. Um, it's a classic X Men villain that, uh, we haven't gotten a figure of since, like, way back in the day of Toy Biz. Like, before they were doing Marvel Legends and they were doing those little crap figures, um, that's when we had a Sauron figure, and I'm pretty sure he just stayed on the pegs at, uh, at Toy Biz, or at uh, KB Toys all the time. That was, like, the one figure nobody wanted was Sauron. Everybody wants this Sauron figure. Poor baby. So... But yeah, pretty cool guys. Um, I definitely dig this figure. I dig this pretty much most of this set, with the exception of underwear Deadpool, because there was really no point of it. Omega Red was okay. Um, the Bishop was definitely better than the old Bishop. Yeah. Lady Deadpool was cool. Madcap. Uh, yeah. Meh. It's a set of Deadpool figures, you know. It, it makes the Deadpool people happy. But... 
What do you have to plug, Charlie Rocket? Me! You can find me at Charlie Rocket Cosplay on really any social media platform whatsoever. And you can find us at www.the-variant.com or as Soar on Eats Charlie Rocket's Head again for the second week in a row. <sighs> um on Instagram and Twitter at the underscore variant underscore and click subscribe catch up with us next week we've got some non-Marvel non-Star Wars non-Hasbro figures ooh the telephone who's <gasps> calling I don't know it's the mayor it's the mayor but we will talk to you guys and see you guys next week <laughs>